Well, good afternoon. And just so you know, the gate's still broke. Uh, we are heading up to East Lake, up by Polina, to go get a couple of Suburbans. And look at this. I got a full tank of fuel. Isn't that amazing? Everybody wave hi to Grumpy. Grumpy's redoing his gate. And once he's done, maybe I'll get him to go on some more recoveries with me. Okay, we picked up Austin and pizza and candy because that's what you need when you're going on an adventure. So we're heading up to East Lake mm -hmm. um, to go get Jake. Casey's fan. Yeah, the best part is Jake's parents own a towing company and they called me to go get Jake. So I am betting when Jake gets home, Jake is grounded. So we're heading up to get him and one of his buddies with a couple of broke down Suburbans. And I guess their rollback truck is going to meet us up there to tow one of them out. And we're going to tow the other out once we get both of them out of the woods back to where the rollback can get. So I'm not 100% sure what we're getting into because they don't have service where they're at. It's all like secondhand guest information, but we'll figure that out as we go. Ready to head up the mountain? Sounds like a plan. Wait, what plan? I just... Head up the mountain and go get some broken <laughs> Passwords! <laughs> Okay, we are up at East Lake Resort on Polina. Here's Blitz's tow truck. Um, he's waiting for us to head up the mountain and go find these guys and drag them back down here. And then we see who's gonna tow what back down out of here, back to civilization. So you think that road? I think that road. I kind of think this road, but we'll go that road. Because I know that one does go up. I've been up on my dirt bike. Okay. We'll see. Well, the pavement didn't last long. Uh, That'd be why he's waiting back there. End maintenance. End of maintenance? Yep. That'd be why he's waiting back there. because we're at a fork in the road we're not sure which way to go and the problem with judging tire tracks up here is there's so many of them that I can't tell which is which they said stay to the right past the resort so we stay to the right but I didn't say anything about this fork up here so this is the worst way to go so I'm betting that's where they went okay so we chose the four-wheel drive trail Think that's it? Yeah. Okay, we think this is it. Oh, I see why they didn't bring the roll back out here. Okay, so we are seeing fresh tracks on the road, but this is also such a kind of popular area that yeah that's not saying a whole lot but we shouldn't be too awful much farther I have a thing okay they should be okay. what they should be one tenth of a mile ahead or we're on the wrong road or the measurements off just by a little bit or all three of those things are true well, looky here. Well, good morning, sunshine. Howdy. What do you have going on here? Double stuck. <laughs> so, yeah. this is Jake. Hi. Can you explain to the people what you do for a living? Going. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain what type of company your parents own? The towing and transportation and recovery. <laughs> Which means when his mom calls me to go get him, he's grounded. So, 
so, talk about that. So we already got them hooked up. So you think hook onto the front one and just tow them out together just like yeah. this? Yeah, with that 6.0 to work. Kick them this right. is no 6.0. We don't mess with that stuff. Never gonna make it out of here. This is 7.3. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Skin. We can do that. I'll uh, spin around and then uh, hook up and drag you guys out. Huh? Your truck down, down at the resort. You're not supposed to drop f bombs on this camera. Because okay, then he has to bleep them out. He has to do it for me all the time. Okay. all the way around because you're still out here. Yeah. <laughs> it was a day of wheeling, that's all I have okay. The plan was to like make it up to the peak and back down all of the yeah. roads, still swimming. <laughs> yeah. Ain't gonna happen. That's why we don't make plans. <laughs> um I think I'll just hook on with the strap and Yeah, let's do it. Where do you want to hook? Yes to the incline. Okay. okay. So I have three kinetic ropes and I have three towing vehicles. They're all on the same one. And yes, three, I will explain that to you guys in another video, why I have three. You'll, you'll like it a lot, trust me. So the one in the back has a blown transmission and does run, so he has brakes. The one in the middle doesn't run at all, so he has no brakes. So now we're going downhill. The one in the back is holding him from running into me. And then we go uphill, and I pull the both of them up the hill. Make sense? Makes sense. At least they were cooked up in like the right order. Yeah. So we got a bit of downhill to go here. We're just taking it easy so that I don't get rear-ended and, and uh, then we got a long uphill to climb so that'll be the fun part. Okay now we start back up the hill and then this is that gnarly spot. We might have to go down to low gear to get them up this. It's got that wash in the middle of it. Yeah. Let's keep her taut. Yeah. better than I expected. What do you think, Casey? That worked out better than I thought. I was worried about not having kinetic ropes between these and it's going to be super jerky, but Jake actually did a really good job. So let's try to see. He gets to redeem himself a little bit. 
that worked out really well. So, you have brakes. Yeah, if this is all downhill, I'll it's, it. it's all downhill. I got some. I got Would you brakes. feel more comfortable if I was hooked to the back of you? Uh, I mean, sure. Yeah, we'll Probably. Not. What, tow him down backwards? Yeah. No, I'll just get behind him. Oh, down. like basically like I am? Yeah. That way I can beat yep. his brakes going down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a screw right here. Wouldn't even let me put the strap on, so I had to. Get in there and take the screw out. It was great. <laughs> it's like, this sucks. <laughs> Alright. And he wants to use his strap, I'm assuming. If you don't stop. Okay. Are you gonna run over your no. You head to the lake? Yeah. You're in park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see you at the lake. Later. Later. <laughs> not hook this to the winch line but you this, don't have another hitch for that i don't and this winch line's getting replaced um soon so it'll be fine famous last words so we're ready to go uh, you basically can put it in neutral and go and i'll be your brakes awesome unless someone comes and you be brakes too yeah okay that might be a little sluggish around turning but all right we'll see no, we'll take it easy. Now just slow and steady down the hill playing trailer brake. This is another time when I would really prefer to have the kinetic rope. Yeah. But it'll make do. Maybe I should put one in here. I think you should. That'd probably be fairly smart. Have one or two in every truck. I mean, yeah. That would be ideal. Only makes sense. Well, the problem is, I'll get like seven or eight of them, I'll end up with all of them in one truck. Probably, you'll have some ridiculous recovery with a quarter mile out there. You have to take them all. That'd be fun. Yeah. Casey, you want to explain to the video that why you're frame forking it? Once I figure out why. So, this thing is very heavy in the front end and it's got a whole lot of overhang on the back end, so I would have to have this extended almost all the way out to reach the tires. And then that takes all my weight off the steer axle and puts a lot of stress on the wheel lift. So by doing it this way, you're picking it up out at the end of it, which is lighter because leverage. 
and you can run with the wheel that's extended all the way in which keeps more weight on my front axle and less weight on my rear axle so yeah. it's much easier on the tow truck much safer everything's much more balanced doing it this way and it's picking up the least amount of weight possible yeah. Yeah. make sense makes sense okay Okay, we're ready to get out of here. We're already getting out of here. I know, but like all the way out because we're still way up the fucking mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're on the downhill slide now. I feel like we're going uphill. Well, now we are. Now we're going downhill. Yeah. All right, let's go home. Let's go home. You good with going home? I'm good with going home. Okay. We'll put those blocks under the tires so we actually have room to get out from under it this time. Yeah. Were you out of four wheel? Switch everything back around. I can switch it all back around later. Okay, so that's that. You ready to go home? Yeah, take me home. Isn't this light bright? Yeah, it is. For a little thing. I know, but it lights up my face so pretty like the Instagram girls. <laughs> Yeah, that is it for this one. We're going home. It's actually not that late. It's only nine o'clock. So uh, yeah, that's it for this one. We will see you guys next time.